do you think of all these critics who have come out um, and spoken against you know, what you've written? To, to me, if, if I look at The Real Meal re Revolution, the greatest thing that, that that book has brought to the South African table as an ingredient is discussion and questions of mm -hmm. why, how, and what does food do to us? Yeah. And I think that has been so important because something's wrong out there. I mean, since the 80s, what's happened with this pandemic of obesity something we are mm -hmm. doing is wrong so 50 percent we know but which 50 percent is right or wrong everyone's trying to find out yeah so the discussion going around that book is so important and crucial to the way we move forward as south africans and the diet that we adapt and we eat mm -hmm. and the other thing that i always say about the real meal revolution is it's not a diet it's a way of life mm -hmm. and every single person Food intake affects you differently and you've got to find your balance and you've got to balance what, what you're eating to fit your lifestyle. And, um, you know, me being an extreme athlete, you know, my carb intake is a little bit more than a person that's more inactive. Right. So you, you balance it out. I mean, if, if you're a diabetic, you're probably going to have to look at around about under 50 grams of carbs a day. If you're an athlete like me burning up the kilometers on the road, I could probably look at 120, 150 grams of carbs a day. But it's to find that balance. And the most important thing is you must enjoy life. Mm -hmm. And it's a lifestyle. So don't go and make, you know, don't become obsessed by it. Find a rhythm. Find a rhythm where you can enjoy it and you can go out still and have fun and, and all of that. But within your mm -hmm. sort of limitations of what your body can consume. Because if, if you're carb intolerant, carbs are going to do something to you. Yeah. And, and uh, we all know what the, the, the pitfalls of sugars and that. Mm -hmm. So it's up to the individual and, and, and what that book has done is, is gets people to read labels, to question yeah. and to find out what am I doing to myself. And it's, to me it's, it's to get people back into the kitchen and cook wholesome food that mm -hmm. we always used to eat and stop just taking off the shelf and, 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 and taking that shortcut. Because if you cook food, I can promise you, you're 80% there. Yeah, you're well, 80% there. It sounds like it's it's really just about assessing yeah. your your lifestyle and your body type and what works for you. Does does it upset you when you hear the um, other scientists and dietitians coming out and saying absolutely no, don't follow that, follow something else? You know, um, what upsets me is 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 when prof gets taken on personally, mm -hmm. and you know. Um, there's a lot of research ongoing in that and it's essential that research is done and it's essential that people ask pertinent questions about it. Don't just accept what you hear. So, you know, both sides, everyone is, is, is looking to it and researching that and, it, and it's, to, it's to find a balance. Mm -hmm. But um, I think what, what we've achieved for this, this book is we've hit the nail on the head. There, there's something wrong out there mm -hmm. and uh, we, we're scratching and we're going to find out the, the right way forward. Um, I can't talk from a scientific perspective yeah. as, as I'm a chef and I know what works for me and I know what goes into food and what's good and bad and from that perspective you know I can I can share share my bit mm -hmm. and um, Prof has, has the more learned side and himself being a diabetic and he knows yeah. what what his um, high carb uh, diet did to him mm -hmm. and hence the, the the moving to the opposite of, of a low carb and and you know it's important it's a medium protein diet and then it's the right fat, yeah. which, is, which is important. Yeah.